Hi everyone, in this video I want to show you how to install WordPress using Plesk in Vulture. Vulture is a PPS hosted that you can use to have and host your WordPress websites. They have the compute and high frequency. If you're going to use or planning or searching for a hosting that can help you to have a fast WordPress website for your WooCommerce or for Elementor or Divi or any other page builder, that those are con considered as heavy plugins, so we can say, and to have fast WordPress websites, then full to high frequency gives really good results. They have their pricing information down in their website, and you can actually start with a very simple and scale it later as you grow or as you need more resources. So once you are signed up, and I will leave that in the description so that you can have a hundred dollars credit to be used and test Vulture. You can easily deploy your server by running out and choosing among the different server options that they have. For a WordPress website, it's recommended a high frequency or a client compute, as I previously mentioned. And you can choose among the different data centers locations that they have. They have plenty or several ones in the US, but if you're in other parts of the world, they have in Europe and some in Asia. From Latin America, they just have Mexico and Sao Paulo. And here you can choose the, in case that you're planning to use Vulture for any other system or for any other app, you can search here in the marketplaces and here is Plesk. You click here the web admin. So with this plan, you can actually install up to three domains. If you are planning to use it for more, then it will have a higher cost. But also if you want to or plan to install just one WordPress environment in your hosting, you can install directly. Or also they have the option to use cPanel, but it will cost $22 per month. Or also there are many other apps that can be installed if you're planning to develop some further platforms on your Ubuntu hosting. And we just choose the easy setup of the $6 as mentioned, or you can already start using the higher plans or scale it eventually as you grow. And if you need some additional features, you can add the IPv6, the auto backups, but this will cost you $1.20 per month, and some protection or clouds. And here, I will just give it a name and deploy. And once it's running, you will just click here and you will have your information of your hosting or access to your hosting. You will have to wait a little bit more so that it's fully activated. One thing that we can start doing is to, if you already have your domain name, you can set it your IP address to the DNS records. This will vary according to your DNS provider domain name. I already have it here on Cloudflare. So I will just add and direct the A record. And I will just set it without the proxy just for the beginning. and it's already pointing to the hosting. So we will have here the login URL. It will be not private at the beginning. Plesk will automatically give us this name, domain name, so that we can avoid this warning. We just click and we can start the access. Ultur will have here a username and password. 
we can later change it. We can just set up here and a password. And we just wait a bit so that it's fully installed Plesk. So once it's done, we can further go with the domain installation. We just add, or we can, if you don't have a domain, you have also the option. But if you want to start out, I will just use this other domain that I have and just add a domain. And it's already added. Another important thing or good thing about having Plesk directly is that you can add the free SSL certificate that lets encrypt. It's really easy. It's just by clicking install. If you have uh, or planning to use a webmail service here in your new Vulture host, you can actually set it out. I will just add it for the www and just get it free. And the SSL certificate is already given. As you can see here, the current version that it's installed here in Plesk environment is 7.4. So if we want to improve it, we will have to or update it to the 8.0. We go here to tools and settings. And then we just hit update. Then here we have the add and remove components. We go to web hosting. And here is the PHP interpreter versions. This way you can select which PHP version you want to add. And we just continue. Then we hit OK. And we can go back to our Plesk environment, websites. We will just refresh. And we can go here to PHP settings. And we will have here now available the H.0, 8.0. Also, another recommendation that it's given is to use a Nginx. Since it's said that it's better than Apache, I'm not a really a profi on website development or so on, but I followed that recommendation and I have seen better results. In case also that you want to improve upload size on your websites, the memory limit, you can also do it from here. The execution times that sometimes this is uh, a configuration that it, it is must be changed sometimes when, especially the upload size, when you're uploading bigger files to WordPress or some plugins, we can just set it out here. And now we can do the WordPress installation. We can set that now the name of the WordPress website, or we can change eventually if you're going to choose another website language as a pre-default, you can actually also install it there, the main username and the password. And it will ask if you want to add some free plugins that they can install. No, at the moment. And now you can actually set a here a uh, free caching of the server. This will also help for the website speed. And we just log in. And we will have the WordPress environment ready to work with.
Now I will show how to install uh, two plugins that I consider really good for creating or developing the WordPress websites. So we just go to a new and well, the first one is Elementor. It's a page builder, or if you already know it, we just install and activate. This is the free version. Another plugin that I'm going to use also is Envato Elements. This has already pre-made templates for Envato and for Elementor. And it's really easy to build up websites this way. You can sign up for free in Envato Elements. Or you can actually also install the kit here. Let's use this one. We just can here search for free templates. Or in case that you want some more pro templates, you will be required to have the subscription so that you can have access to the, these different templates. This is one of the things that I recommend over using the WordPress themes directly from Theme Forest, for example, because it's way easier to build websites and to import the content or just the content that you need. So it's it makes easier the website development in WordPress, especially with Elementor. So I would just set out the home page. I will create the the main page and as you can see here we will have the Envato elements widget so that we can direct import so before doing some website building i will set out here the element or canvas and this way i won't have the main header neither the footer the pre-established by wordpress and I will just use the one that I already installed, or you can do it here in the free kits, install kit. Or also if you're only planning to use some blocks like call to actions, or let's say the heroes, you can actually only use certain parts. So that's a good thing about Envato Elements plugin that you can just directly install what you need and you can choose among the different ones. If it's required to use some other plugins here in this example, it's asked, so let's install it. So, for example, here it's asking for Elementor Pro, but let's say we're only going for the free version, so let's set this out. And also here in settings, well, it will ask for color schemes and typography. So it will might change the main or default typography and colors that it has. Okay. So ignore requirements. This might need the pro version. So we can just be searching here to find out which one could be the good one for us. So let's insert template. And there we go. We have our basic website structure. Since we are not using Elementor Pro, we're not having here a, a header, either a footer. But what we can do, for example, is Add here another space from our section from Elementor and we can add here directly any other widget. And we can, let's choose a random image from the media library just to say that this is our logo. Let's reduce the size.
let's say that we want here To set up the column just to 10 let's here adjust the logo size and we are building this way with the free versions here we have the dark we have adding here a, a header so this is the workaround if you're just planning to use the Elementor free, you can have here this way. The... And well, here we don't have yet uh, a WordPress menu. Oh, let's see it here. Nav menu. This is a pro version. What you can do here is just add some text and a link to the let's say this just go here to the as you can see here down it's appearing the https to the main website just changing out the color. And we create kind of a header. I will just publish. And I will set it out as a main homepage. And in that way, it's really easy to use the Embato elements. We already had the home page so we can say let's see back again here the menu for example here the size it's oversized so let's do a back an adjustment and just hit here custom we will have to set it to 25 and 25 What could happen is the cache might be, and now the preview. So let's see. Okay. Now we have a minor size here. It's not linking. It's only to you. Change the color here. And we have, have here now with the changes. This go to the menu. We have our main page. As you can see. What I will do now is to go to Cloudflare just to set out the DNS. And go to check out the WordPress bit in just some minutes. And I'm going to run the GT metrics test. And without any further optimization, just by installing, this page is getting almost one second for fully loaded time. Of course, the serve static assets with an efficient cache policy there can be done. We can see here the waterfall, also the minification of the CSS and so on. But without any optimization, 
Fulter is getting one second with Elementor and also probably without being optimized the images to WebP. So, so far it's really good loading time. So I hope that this video helped you to learn and see how easy it can be done to install Plesk and WordPress in Vulture. Really good hosting that I actually recommend. I'm using it for myself. I moved from Cloudways to Vulture mainly because of the price. Pricing here for this plan on Cloudways is $13 and Vulture directly is $6. Cloudways, I would recommend it if you're doing a mix between different cloud services, cloud providers, like having DigitalOcean, Amazon Web Services, Google Cloud in just one main platform. I see that advantage on Cloudways. But if you're just going to use Vulture and only have one platform and just one hosting provider, then actually Vulture is a really one, the, the really good VPS cloud provider. They are adding more features for more advanced or technical, but even for marketers or bloggers, Vulture for $6 per month, it's a really, really good option. So you have some questions, some comments, don't hesitate to write down. Thanks for watching.